What's going on guys? Welcome to part 2 of how to make coins using gold cards and Madden 25 Ultimate Team. And we're just going to pick up right where we left off in part 1 and that's at the center position. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the price of Mike Pouncey. Of course he plays for the Dolphins. And as you can see, there's only 6 cards of his listed on the auction block going from 8,000 all the way to 25,000 coins. And for those of you that may have missed part one, this is only base set gold cards which are needed for team captain collections. And we're only checking 80 to 84 overalls, so let's move on to the next one. Alright, next up on the list is going to be none other than Ryan Khalil. We're going to go ahead and check out his price. And it looks like there's only five of his cards at the current moment, ranging anywhere from 9,000 to 24,000 coins. And just like in part one, hopefully this video is going to help a lot of people make some coins as well as clearing out some reserves. If you're almost topped out in reserves and you don't know what to do, just follow this video if you have base set gold cards and you could be sitting pretty with some Madden Ultimate Team coins. Marquise Pouncey is next on the list. So we're going to go ahead and see what he's selling for. And you're going to see some Road to the Playoff cards as well as his base set. So keep in mind Road to the Playoff cards, if you're new to the game, are that symbol in the top left of the card that says Road to Playoffs. The base set cards do not have that as you see on this card and this card going for one coin shy of 10 grand and 12 grand. As you see, there's only two of them right now. So if you have a Marquise Pouncey card and someone comes along and wants to do the Steelers team captain collection, you might want to go ahead and throw that card up on the auction block and help somebody complete this collection. Alright, moving right along now, we're going to change positions and we're going to go ahead and move on to the right guards. And first on the list is none other than Broncos player Luis Vasquez. So we're going to go ahead and see what he is selling for. And if you have this card, I would highly suggest go ahead and list that on the auction block because as you can see, there's only two of them going for 45 grand and 150k. And you know... Who knows if they're going to sell for that price. You may get a little less. You may get a little more. You know, the market changes pretty frequently in Ultimate Team. And if there's somebody that comes along and loves doing collections and is a Broncos fan, they're definitely going to buy this card so they can do that collection. The next player we're going to check out real fast is the right guard for the Redskins. So let's go ahead and check out Chris Chester's card. And actually, his road to the playoff card is also a little bit valuable. As you will see right here, it goes for about four and a half grand. I actually had one, and I sold it for about five grand. So as you can tell, his base set gold card needed for team captain collections. There's only two of them. One's 17 grand. The other one is 22,000 coins. And I realize, guys, you're not really going to make a killing if you don't have multiple cards, you know, throughout the video. But even if you only have a few and you didn't know that they were valuable, at least you're updated now and you can go ahead and sell them. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the right tackle position. And we're going to go ahead and check out the price of Ghost or Cherilus. And if you guys know some other players, base set gold cards that are extremely valuable and needed for collections, let's go ahead and help out the community by dropping it in the comments below. I realize I couldn't go through every single player you just don't have time to do that in a video. But as you can see, Ghost or Cherilus, if you have his base set gold card, this is a gold mine. There's only one up for 100,000 coins. And, I mean, if there's not any other ones up on the auction block, and somebody is wanting to do the Colts team captain collection, they pretty much don't have a choice. But I'm going to go ahead and say that I do believe his card will sell if you put it up for maybe even 75k. But there you have it. There's only one up at the time of me recording this video, and it's going for 100,000 coins. Now we're going to move on to the left end position. And the next few positions I do, I only have one player for each. So I apologize about that. I really didn't come across any really rare or just a couple players that only had a few cards on the auction block at the time that I did this video. But here you're going to see Greg Hardy going from about 9,000 to 10,000 coins. And there's only three cards up. Now I realize 9,000 coins isn't a whole lot, but if you have this card just sitting in your reserves and you really don't need it for anything, you could list that up on the auction block and sell it and open a pro pack and who knows, 
maybe in that one pro pack that you open you could open a card such as the new fantasy 99 overall jj watt or a mid-season fantasy card that will bring you a ton of madden ultimate team coins antonio smith is next on the list as we come to the right end position so we're going to go ahead and see what he's currently selling for now he does have some road to the playoff cards listed as you see right here and we're just going to scroll down until we see his base set gold and there you have it there's only one and it's selling for 17,000 coins and if this video is really helping you guys out to earn more coins go ahead and shatter the like button and leave in the comments below which one of these cards you may have had and how much you sold them for on the auction block. I'll be really interested to find out you know more about how many coins you guys are making because that first video I posted I had a bunch of people telling me that they made a good bit of coins just by following my video. Now we're going to be moving on to the defensive tackle position and if you have this card this could be a potential gold mine sitting in your reserves and you just don't even know it you're not even aware so let's go ahead and check out Ryan Pickett. He does of course have a road to the playoff card listed as you see here. I'm not going for a whole lot but we're going to scroll down and we're going to come across his base set card and it's currently selling for 50,000 coins. And this is another one of those cards that only has one on the auction block right now. And I mean if you guys if you don't have the cards that I'm showing in this video why don't you just use this as a guide to help you snipe some of these cards because if people just clear out their reserves most of the time they don't even check what the cards go for and they throw them up for a thousand or two thousand coins and you could have a pretty good snipe and make coins that way as well coming to the left outside linebacker now we're going to go ahead and look up james harrison and i promise you guys if you have this card in your reserves you're going to be happy when we look at his price now he only has two cards right now listed that is the road to the playoff which we're not looking for and the card we are looking for which is his 81 overall base set and as you can tell it's going for 500 coins shy of 40 grand so if you guys have this in your reserves you can go ahead and thank me and hopefully you can list it up on the auction block and get a good amount of coins for james harrison the last left outside linebacker that i do have for the video is of course chad greenway so we're going to go ahead and check out his price and once again I believe you guys will be satisfied with what his card is selling for. You see only two of them, 33k and 65,000. So even if you guys only have a few cards within the video, I mean hey, you have some coins and you can choose to open packs with that. Or maybe there's some cards on the auction block that you've really wanted to add to your team for a while and you just didn't have the coins to do that. Well, watching this video and clearing out some reserves if you have these could definitely help you coin-wise to pick up those cards for your team. Dequell Jackson is the next person on my list as we move on to the middle linebackers. And Dequell Jackson is also another card, once again, that is going for a significant amount of coins on the auction block. You're going to see his road to the playoff card right there. And then as we scroll down, his base set is going for 45,000 coins and 75,000. So there are a lot of cards in Ultimate Team that are actually selling for a good amount. And there's a ton of people in the community that may not even be aware of that. That's why I'm making this video and hopefully you guys are going to be rich. Mr. Steven Tullock is the next person to mark off on our list as we're searching for some of these rare base set gold cards. So let's just go ahead and see what he's going for. We're going to scroll right past his road to the playoff card. As we come to the bottom of the page, you're going to see he has two cards right now. One's going for 18 grand. The other one is 16 grand. And if you guys have four or 5,000 coins, you could sell this card on the auction block and open three pro packs or do just whatever you want with those coins. And hopefully, you know, while watching this video, in some shape or form whether you're sniping cards selling cards whatever you may be doing hopefully this video is going to help a ton of people make a profit we're going to go ahead and search up james laurinitis and this is once again a valuable card i mean to tell you guys the honest truth when i was doing this video and looking up some of these cards i felt like i was in a gold mine when i come across these prices james laurinitis has one card up right now 
and it's going for 44,000 coins. And, you know, I just can't tell you guys enough. When somebody comes along and wants to do these team captain collections rather than just buying the card off the auction block, they're going to buy these cards because, you know, there's just some people that love doing collections and want to knock out a bunch of them in the game. We're moving right along to the right outside linebacker position and we're going to check the price of Philip Wheeler. And if you guys have friends that play Ultimate Team and are struggling to make coins and have had the game since it launched or just whenever they got the game, please send them this video. Maybe they can follow the guide, snipe some cards, maybe they have some in their reserves or who knows, maybe they have a friend that played Ultimate Team and they just didn't like Madden 25 and traded the game in. Imagine all of the cards sitting on that account that no one is ever going to use. That is just unreal. And it's just crazy to think how many of these cards ha are just going to waste because they're on accounts that nobody even plays anymore. You know, it sort of makes you wonder as we go over to the cornerback position and check out Ike Taylor. You know, just thinking about how these cards were everywhere in the game at one point and they're not so much out there anymore. What if the road to the playoff cards start to do that? I don't know. If they take the road to the playoff cards out of the game, which I'm thinking they will do. I mean, why leave them in the game, you know, when the NFL season actually comes to an end? Maybe this thing could go on for a while with all these gold cards. Maybe this could be, you know, a big discovery in Ultimate Team. So, I don't know. Just keep some of these in your reserves if you want to. Sell them if you want to. There you see Ike Taylor going for 5k, and on the second page he was going for 12,000 and 23,000 coins, as he only has three cards on the auction block right now. The next player on the list is none other than Jason McCourty, so we're going to go ahead and see what he's at. And he actually has a lot of cards on the auction block right now, because his road to the playoff card seems like it's pretty common, you know, to come across when you're opening some packs. So we're just going to scroll through these first couple of pages. See if we come across his base set gold card and see what it's selling for. So there's none on the first three. And the last and final page, he's going for 38,000 coins. That's a pretty crazy price for Jason McCourty. And, you know, let me know if you're enjoying what I'm doing with these videos on how to make coins. You know, I may not can bring you one every day or maybe even every week. But when I come across something that you're going to be able to make a profit on, if you guys want to see it, that's definitely what I'll do. So leave your feedback in the comments below and I'll definitely be reading them. Now we're going to move right along to the free safety position. And some people have told me, you know, with my accent that I'm saying his name wrong. So I apologize about that. I'm going to go ahead and say his name correctly, or at least what I have been told. And that's Antoine Bethea instead of Bethea. So you guys can see his card selling for 28,000 coins and 55 grand. So once again, just another card you may have sitting in your reserves. And those are just some coins that you don't even know you have. Alright, it looks like the next person I have on my list to go ahead and search is going to be Earl Thomas. Of course, he plays for the Seahawks. So let's jump right into it and see what he's selling for. He has four cards going from 15,000 all the way to 26,000 coins. So I mean if you guys have more than one or maybe even more than three of these cards, let me know in the comments below because I mean this is just unreal. If you guys have a bunch of these cards that I'm showing within this video, you're undoubtedly going to have a lot of coins in Madden Ultimate Team. Now we're going to go ahead and check out Ed Reed from the Texans. And if you guys remember last year on Madden 13, I used to call him Dead Reed. Because when he had that flashback card and I opened it in a pack, you know, I was trying to say I was dead. And it just came out dead read. So that was crazy. A little running gag with me and Ryan calling him dead read. But here he is selling from 25000 all the way to 125 grand, Just for a basic gold free safety card that may be sitting in your reserves. So once again, go ahead and check and see if you have dead read. Moving right along to the strong safety position is a card that a lot of people are aware of that is really really hard to come by and that is of course William Moore from the Falcons and I actually had this card in my reserves so I was extremely happy to see that I had it after I recorded this video you know I've had it in my reserves since about September so I mean even myself I'm making coins off of these videos just like you guys are as well and you seen William Moore at the time of me recording this video 
and typically always i mean he doesn't have many cards up maybe one or two and this is a valuable card because a lot of people want to get that captain julio jones card so if you have william moore go ahead and throw him up on the auction block and you will definitely get a bunch of coins for it all right guys the last card i have in this video is going to be adrian wilson so let's go ahead and check out his price and hopefully if you guys have just stumbled upon this video you'll go back to my channel and check out part one you see adrian wilson selling for 100k and 33k so yeah guys that's going to conclude this little series you know that i did two parts and you can click the screen once this video ends if you're on a computer and you will be taken to part one and hopefully that's also going to make you a ton of madden ultimate team 25 coins and if you're new to my channel go ahead and click subscribe i do madden ultimate team and i'm going to keep you guys updated with all the new content and just make sure you shatter the like button show some support and if you really enjoyed it let me know in the comments below and once again i thank everyone for tuning in i know it was a lengthy video but hopefully it's going to reward a lot of people that's watching it and it's going to be just an informative video to get a bunch of information out there about some super rare cards in Madden Ultimate Team. So thanks for watching and until next time guys, Roll Tide. I'm going to show everyone all of the base set rare gold cards in Madden 25. And these base set rare gold cards that I'm showing you are only going to be specific cards needed to do the team captain collections.